because then you you fit into the market all over um yep. but i'm sure that also affect your your design cycle um in mm. in the in the overall look um I want to chat about learnings because, again, talking to you, as you just said, right, talking to customers, you're learning, of course, from them. But but how do you stay up to date in, within the industry? Oh, boy, that's a good question. Um, I I feel like I could be much more methodical about it. Um, but I, I would say if I would if I try to give some like practical advice or thoughts that maybe listeners can take away. Um, I'm sure they do the same thing I do, which is I sign up for tons and tons of email newsletters <laughs> yeah. and, it, you know, and it, it, which is funny because it's like three or four years ago, I would have said that email newsletters were dying, but now I, I'm on some very, very high quality newsletters that I really enjoy reading. Yeah. So that's been effective. Um, I'm a member of a bunch of LinkedIn groups um, and I go to lots of events and even the events that I don't go to, I always make sure to look at the schedule, the speakers, the panels to yeah. understand, you know, is, is ESG a panel of discussion or most interestingly in the U S recently, there are still panels that would have been called ESG, but now that that phrase has been removed ah. and now it's, it's not ESG, but the context is the same because ESG apparently has become somewhat political. So um I think that's the that's the best thing that that yeah. that I know how to do. But um I perpetually feel FOMO. 